The brain is an organ that serves as the center of the nervous system in all vertebrate and most invertebrate animals. Only a few invertebrates such as sponges, jellyfish, adult sea squirts and starfish do not have a brain, diffuse or localized nerve nets are present instead. Here is a list of some of the most important vertebrate brain components, along with a brief description of their functions. Medulla The medulla, along with the spinal cord, contains many small nuclei involved in a wide variety of sensory and involuntary motor functions such as vomiting, heart rate and digestive processes. Pons The pons lies in the brainstem directly above the medulla. Among other things, it contains nuclei that control often voluntary but simple acts such as sleep, respiration, swallowing, bladder function, equilibrium, eye movement, facial expressions, and posture. Hypothalamus The hypothalamus is a small region at the base of the forebrain, whose complexity and importance belies its size. It is composed of numerous small nuclei, each with distinct connections and neurochemistry. The hypothalamus is engaged in additional involuntary or partially voluntary acts such as sleep and wake cycles, eating and drinking, and the release of some hormones. Thalamus The thalamus is a collection of nuclei with diverse functions, some are involved in relaying information to and from the cerebral hemispheres, while others are involved in motivation. The subthalamic area, zona inserta, seems to contain action-generating systems for several types of consumatory behaviors such as eating, drinking, defecation, and copulation. Cerebellum the cerebellum modulates the outputs of other brain systems, whether motor-related or thought-related, to make them certain and precise. Removal of the cerebellum does not prevent an animal from doing anything in particular, but it makes actions hesitant and clumsy. This precision is not built in, but learned by trial and error. The muscle coordination learned while riding a bicycle is an example of a type of neuroplasticity that may take place largely within the cerebellum. 10% of the brain's total volume consists of the cerebellum and 50% of all neurons are held within its structure. Optic tectum The optic tectum allows actions to be directed toward points in space, most commonly in response to visual input. In mammals it is usually referred to as the superior colliculus and its best studied function is to direct eye movements. It also directs reaching movements and other object directed actions. It receives strong visual inputs, but also inputs from other senses that are useful in directing actions, such as auditory input in owls and input from the thermosensitive pit organs in snakes. In some primitive fishes, such as the lampreys, this region is the largest part of the brain. The superior colliculus is part of the midbrain. Pallium. The pallium is a layer of gray matter that lies on the surface of the forebrain and is the most complex and most recent evolutionary development of the brain as an organ dot in reptiles and mammals. It is called the cerebral cortex. Multiple functions involve the pallium, including smell and spatial memory. In mammals, where it becomes so large as to dominate the brain, it takes over functions from many other brain areas. In many mammals, the cerebral cortex consists of folded bulges called gyri that create deep furrows or fissures called sulci. The folds increase the surface area of the cortex and therefore increase the amount of gray matter and the amount of information that can be stored and processed. Hippocampus The hippocampus, strictly speaking, is found only in mammals. However, the area it derives from, the medial pallium, has counterparts in all vertebrates. There is evidence that this part of the brain is involved in complex events such as spatial memory and navigation in fishes, 
birds, reptiles, and mammals. Basal ganglia The basal ganglia are a group of interconnected structures in the far brain. The primary function of the basal ganglia appears to be action selection, they send inhibitory signals to all parts of the brain that can generate motor behaviors. And in the right circumstances can release the inhibition, so that the action generating systems are able to execute their actions. Reward and punishment exert their most important neural effects by altering connections within the basal ganglia. Olfactory bulb The olfactory bulb is a special structure that processes olfactory sensory signals and sends its output to the olfactory part of the pallium. It is a major brain component in many vertebrates, but is greatly reduced in humans and other primates whose senses are dominated by information acquired by sight rather than smell.